Hello everyone, I was going to show off uh, uh, some of my vintage uh, doll houses. Um, I had this one for about two years. Uh, this is a Fisher Price doll house, but this one was made in 1981. Um, it's blue and yellow, uh, and it was number 280. Um, it uh, was missing it's missing a side and it's missing its chimneys are supposed to be chimneys up here um, and it's got some uh, sun fading um, it's got a, a door that really opens of course the balcony is a real pain to put on and um, as you can see here uh, yeah this is kind of the sun fading and unfortunately, that's exactly where the sun hits in my room, too. <coughs> um, and this is the inside. It's a very nice, spacious dollhouse. Um, it's made of a... Well, I don't know what you exactly call this. It, it's, it, it's bendable. You can put it to... You can collapse this totally and ship it flat. Um... I don't know. What do you call this stuff? Maybe it, it, it's not. It's not wood exactly, and it's. But um, I don't know what you call it. Anyway, and the dollhouse came with. Uh, you could wallpaper it. And um, what's the big deal with that, though, is that it had working lights. Um, I didn't know if mine worked because. Um, well, kind of working lights. Uh, I think the batteries uh, or the battery connection might be a little off or something, maybe. I don't know. There. Um, what was nice about this dollhouse is that it had working lights. Um, for a long time, I didn't know if the lights would work. Um, this takes D batteries that are under the floor and I'm not sure but I think there might be a little bit of stuff on my you know uh, coils that maybe later I'll try to clean off but uh, for a long time I didn't have the lamps so I didn't know if it worked um, I, I never knew if I you know I liked it because it was a blue and yellow house I have this thing about blue and yellow houses uh, well, I never realized it. I guess yellow is actually my favorite color. I never thought about it. I mean, a lot of times when they used to ask me, what's your favorite color, I would say maroon or something. Because uh, I didn't really ever think about yellow. But when I, when I think about it, ever since I've been a kid, I've, I've been... I've always had a, I've always had loved at least... Well, I've always liked yellow on houses. And actually, I always liked yellow uh, dresses and... So, uh, I remember that when I was like seven or eight years old, I wanted to work in this, become an accountant. I had no idea what an accountant even did, but there was a, a, a house that was near a bank that we used to go to that was pink and yellow. And because I wanted to go work in the pink and yellow house, and so I decided that I wanted to be an accountant because that's where the accountants work in the pink and yellow house. And um, and I didn't really know what an accountant did, and if I had known, I would have known I would have made a lousy accountant because I suck at math. So, <laughs> but at the time I wanted pink and yellow. Um, but actually, blue and yellow has always been my favorite thing. So I, I not only did I like this dollhouse because it had pretty spacious rooms for a dollhouse, but uh, I liked the color. But uh, for a long time, I didn't have furniture for it. This was the dollhouse I was talking about, where I had all my Star Wars figures, and I didn't have a bathroom. I had a little other piece, piece, bits of furniture, but no bathroom. And you know, I was always pit, I was always kind of traumatized because I always had this worry that every my dolls would have to go to the bathroom, and I had no bathroom, and you know, they'd be holding it for two years, and you know, that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, this dollhouse was from 1981. Uh, I didn't know if mo more modern fixtures would work with it. Um, so, but recently I found um, another dollhouse 
um, that had f working furniture. Well, that was another thing. A lot of people sold some of the vintage lamps, but they had no way of testing them to know if they were working. So, you know, there's plenty of vintage lamps on eBay, but the people don't know if they work or not. And they're expensive, usually, so to pay a lot of money for something you're not even sure was going to work was a little bit difficult, you know, to do. And another thing is I didn't know if my dollhouse would work, but recently I came across a dollhouse that that it claimed it's it's not only that its lamps worked but that its electrical system also worked so I figured well if the lamps don't work in my house then I at least still have this other house now um, the houses were actually made in two uh, time periods uh, this one was made in 1978 and it's um, green and or not green it's gray and brown um, I don't really like the, the color too much but it, it came with all the classic furniture and the classic dollhouse dolls and it came with working lamps which was what I was particularly interested in now uh, this is the 1978 dollhouse and I'm going to put it together in a few minutes to kind of show you how it's done in a lot of ways they're very identical uh, but you can see this was made in 1981 and this was made in 1978 and there's a kind of a quite a bit of a difference between the two like this is made with a much heavier uh, I don't know is it cardboard or I don't I don't know what it's called looks like the sides might be a little more vulnerable though so um, I'm going to demonstrate how it's put together I would think it's got a slightly different staircase but um, uh, otherwise it should be pretty identical to this other one. So let me see if I can um, Okay, is it going to stay? No, it's not. All right, it's gonna stay now. Excuse me, folks, trying to adjust everything here. Uh, maybe I'll push this one to the side. Okay. All right. Now. Huh. You know, I. Kind of interesting. This woman. Where's the battery compartment, though? Anyway, can you see that? Not quite. All right. All right. All right. You should be able to see that. Um. Now what's interesting is I don't see the battery compartment. Normally the batteries go in here, but I don't see any sign of a battery compartment. Uh, huh. Okay, so this goes... But you see, there's no battery springs or anything, or any indication there ever was battery springs. Uh, that's really weird.
because that's it's supposed to be. Um, let me check under it. Oh, well, well, no. Huh. That is this dangest thing. So, um, that goes on top of that. How does it go in line? Yeah, that would be... Ah, oh, yeah, this seems, seems to fit a little better this way. In my um, dollhouse, the raised one seems to fit better over by the door. Um, okay. So, um... Yeah, the board is much uh, sturdier. Um, I'm probably going to have to put you up a little bit further here. Um, but, uh, okay. Yeah, this is a little different too. Okay. Um, there's these little tabs and you support that this way. Um, next comes this white part. Um, oh, and the stairs. Yeah, the stairs. Um, they go here. And then um, this goes on top of that. I'm wondering if the 1978 version did have light up. It doesn't look like it ever lit up. So maybe it was a 1981 version. And I'm, gl I'm glad I found that out. Or because I mean the woman said, I mean the lights do work, but that would have been upsetting. It doesn't look like this house was ever made uh, to to have electricity. It looks like maybe this compartment was meant to maybe store your dollhouse stuff. Um, it doesn't look like the springs were uh, t taken off. It looks like they were. It was never there. So um, I'm kind of curious about things. Of course, there are some of the people that claim that there's a hutch. Oh, that's what I forgot. Some of the people claim that you can't light the dollhouse if you don't have this lighting cabinet. Maybe that's the difference between the 1978 and the 1981. The 1978 required the lighting cabinet, whereas 1981, they gave you, you could plug it right into the door. Okay. Now, the, um, this is where it gets really, really tricky. Oh, actually... Oh, you know what? Actually, I, I went ahead of myself, I think. Yeah, I did. Um, actually, you can't put this part up because the stairway blocks the sliding glass door. The sliding glass door is a real pain to put on. Um, the Because you, you have to kind of get work from both sides. Um, you're going to be uh, pressing the clear part in here while you're simultaneously clearing the white, pushing the white plastic there. So, anyway, so, and then on top of that, you have to put the sliding glass door uh, on a certain way. That gets a little complicated. So, okay, it, it has to go on the side that it's going to be, be inserted into the wall. And I can't figure out how it goes in. Trying to figure that out is always hard. This was kind of smoky smelling, and it's kind of got a, a yellow uh, stain, which I often associate kind of with nicotine. 
Um, so I wonder if it came from a smoking house or maybe it was involved in a fire or something, but okay. Uh, yeah, this one is very hard to figure out. They're, they're hard to figure out, but um, anyway, but huh. Yeah, this one definitely does not oh, wait, is that it? Do I have it? No, I don't have it. Uh, okay, is that it? Okay. Yeah, alright. So, the very difficult thing about the sliding glass door. Okay. Oh no, don't come off, don't come off. Trying to keep everything together. And this track is not really the best one I've had. Okay, trying to keep that from falling out. You stick that on. Oh god, it's not gonna work. This one's really difficult. Just doesn't want to stay on. I was glad to get this in the mail today. I I was feeling very depressed and it was kind of nice. Oh, maybe it goes on. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it goes on this way. I can't tell. It's always so hard. Wait, which way the handle goes in mine? Oh, well, on the other one it goes in the other direction, but we'll see. Whatever one, it, it, it seems to work out. Anyway, you go press this way, this way, and uh, I can't figure out how the door goes. And I need it. I need it on before I can press it in, because that's what locks it in. And I don't know what it is. Oh God! Please get on. I can't figure out it. How do you get on? Okay. All right. I think that's how it goes on. So you press it in. Yay! There we go. Actually, once the door's on, it's harder to put on, but once you got the door on, it actually works a lot better than mine, my other one. This one is much more sturdier built. Um, that looks like a milkshake was spilled on it. Yep, I am pretty sure that's a milkshake stain. You guys think so? Okay. Now... Now we can put the roof, well, we can put the staircase on first, and then we can put on the roof. said that this this window uh, but it doesn't go in that one it's totally warped and is not going to fit in and uh, fit in the window and probably I would say there's a good chance she is right about that yeah yeah this does seem like which makes me think maybe it had been maybe in a fire or something um, okay, it has to go this way probably. But yeah, it, oh wait, am I going to be able to get it in? No, I don't think so. It, I think it's just too badly warped. Anyway, yeah, the window's too badly warped. I'm not going to be able to put it in. Normally, um, you put it in kind of this way and then snap it down, get those little things into the groove, but as you can see, it's just, well, no, you can't see. Uh, wait, 
Okay, sorry. You can't see. Uh, normally you put the window into these grooves and, and you know, lock it in there. And then you kind of put it flat down. But this is just too, too warped to be able to do anything with it. Uh, not even from the other side. Yeah, it is, it is really badly warped. So, uh, no such luck. But, uh, uh, there we go. All right. So, um, the one, the side with the window goes over here and you put it on the top of the little, uh, things. 1978 one's a little harder to put together, um, even though it's a little better built. Um, Is probably also missing its ch chimney because um, as you can see there's something over there um, and I don't think I saw a chimney so I don't know what it is with the things in their chimney you almost never seen that see them with their chimney you can find some ones that look like they were never out of a box but you almost never see a chimney okay and oops okay all right and we're going down again. Okay. And, um, okay. Where's that other part? Oh, there it is. Okay, finally we got this part. Okay, so the little holes, put that in there. Now, she said that the staircase was oh so broken. Uh, all right, and um, I have to admit I'm a little lost about how this exactly goes on. Oh, okay, all right, okay. My, my dollhouse doesn't have a staircase like this, so, um, yeah. Uh, and I don't, I remember she said there was something about the stairs that was broken, but I don't know if she meant the guardrail or, so I have to admit, I, I have no idea how you put this on. I mean, there's little holes, it looks like it should fit, but it doesn't really fit that well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, there we go. Yeah. There's only like three things that, uh, so, here's the dollhouse all put together. And as I said, this is a 1978. I got very confused because, um, okay, the difference is 1981, they put in electrical system so you didn't need the lighting cabinet. You see, there's little plugs on the floor. Um, the other, you know, they were always saying you need a lighting cabinet to, to uh, do the plants. And I, I was always like, well, why do I need a lighting cabinet for the lamps? I have little plugs in the floor. But that's the 1981 version. 1978 doesn't have anything in the floor. So it, I, I don't know what this was for. Never in any indication that was ever ran, that they had batteries down there. So, um... Apparently, this was just a storage space for your dolls or furniture and stuff. Um, 
yeah. Oh, man. Still a little confused about how this goes on. Oh, okay, it goes on. Okay, it's like my one. Uh, this one's got a black door. I have a kind of a reddish brown door in the other one. Um, this one has kind of a darker tan uh, floor where this has a white. Um, that has a like a fake wood thing and a, a green and yellow kind of bathroom. Uh, this is the bathroom in the 1978 and a blue floor. And of course it's gray and brown where it was this was blue and yellow. This had a lot more um, oh yeah they didn't bother even painting windows on the side of this. Um, whereas the 1981 they they you know they uh, did some they did some while well, they didn't put in windows they drew them in. And as you can see on that side, um, both have windows here, but as I said, this one is so badly warped I couldn't put it in. Both had uh, working sliding glass doors. Um, yeah, they didn't put too much details. I heard, I don't know the number of the, the 1978. And now I'm going to unpack the furniture.